Hey what's going on guys, welcome for another video, it's your boy KNX here for another video. I hope you are enjoying this kind of tutorials that I'm doing for YouTube. And today it's another tutorial for you. And this is basically how to create like footsteps marks on your uh, environment, like snow and stuff like that. And for that we're gonna use uh, a simple UV sphere and two planes to create that. We're gonna use dynamic paint to reach that level of footsteps and uh, or that level of marks because i will not use a, a model to create this so i will not have the footsteps mark on the snow but i will use the same principle to teach you how to reach that kind of level all right guys if you are enjoying this kind of tutorials feel free to give a like and subscribe the channel we are re almost reaching the 1000 subs that's really cool and if you didn't know i have created a patreon page but i will talk about it later on the video let's go and start this tutorial let's go to blender all right guys we are here in blender in this amazing uh, platform as i always say but today we're gonna create that footsteps mark so for that i'm gonna click a to select everything and a to delete it and let's go and click shift a and add a plane just like that all right guys we have here our simple plane and uh, let's just scale these four times or just a little bit i will scale it like something like uh, that all right this will uh, work perfectly i think it's too much let me scale uh, a little bit down just like that all right and let's add our uv sphere let's go shift a mesh and add a uv sphere let's bring this a little bit over here and uh, more to the side something like that all right and now let's just scale this down a little bit click in our plane rotate it in the y-axis a little bit just something like that all right and let's put our uv sphere in the right place i want something like in the middle you know so something like that yeah let's scale this down a little bit and right now we have our scene created so now we need to just change some stuff and let's create this animation I'm going to create a simple animation to show you how to create this kind of marks in your environment like snow and uh, for that let's go over here to our physics properties let's go over here and add a rigid body for this uh, plane it will be an passive and uh, for this will be uh, inactive all right guys just like that and let's go over here and shade smooth this uv sphere and let's go to this plane and now we have two rigid bodies the passive and the active so basically if we click the space bar you'll see that they are already working very well with each other so this will be the passive and this will be the active so this is falling down because of the gravity and just scrolling in our passive object all right guys so now we have our simple animation created let's go scale this a little bit down again and now we need to create something like a canvas to paint our uh, object so basically to leave that marks uh, on our environment so for that let's go and click shift d and just bring this second plane a little bit up something like that let's change the name to i don't know dynamic paint or uh, displacement displacement yes all right i don't know how to spell displacement oh my god all right now we have our sphere our plane and our displacement uh, our displacement in our displacement we're gonna remove our rigid body we don't want that we want a dynamic paint let's go over here and click in dynamic paint and just leave in canvas and let's go and add a canvas just like that over here in our surface type we need to change this to paint to something like this place all right guys and right now it's everything we need to do Let's go over here to our sphere and uh, let's add a dynamic paint and change the type to brush. This will be our brush to paint our canvas and let's go and add the brush just like that. And you're going to see that nothing is going on right now because we don't have enough vertices in our plane, in our displacement plane. All right. So for that, we're going to change some stuff. First, let's go back to our plane and over here to our surface response. Let's just bring this to a bounciness of 1 and over here to our sphere, let's bring the bounciness to something like that. 
I'm use I'm using this just for this animation because it's a ball or is a sphere. So this sphere needs to jump to have some bounciness just to get more realistic. Now it's looking very cool and very good. Let's use it just like that and let's go over here to our second plane. Let's click tab to add more vertices to our plane. We can add loop cuts or we can subdivide it. Subdivide it is very fast and very useful. Let's go and click subdivide right over here. You just need to click in the right button of your mouse just like that and click in subdivide. This will appear, this little tab over here. Open it and in this window we're going to change the number of cuts to something like 80. Now we have a lot of resolution to work with but let's click again to subdivide just to have a little bit more and now you're gonna see that we have already something going on this is our animation right now every single time that this ball passes through the placement plane this will be created this kind of deforms uh, stuff the and uh, basically this will be literally our brush and our canvas and now we have our animation created it's super easy if you want to create like snow and and something like that, I'm gonna give you here a little bonus. But uh, if you want to create shaders like realistic snow and stuff like that, I will leave here a card for you to check it out. Our newest tutorial about how to create realistic snow in Blender. And I will leave it here a card and it will be in the description for you to go check it out. Alright guys, but here in this tutorial I'm gonna create a simple shader not uh, really realistic but this will work very well just for the purpose of this tutorial all right guys so for that let's go over here in this window let's change this to shader editor and let's select our sphere let's click new and change the name to snow just like that all right guys and now let's create our displacement so to create our displacement just to create that kind of snow Let's uh, let's go and add here a noise texture just like that and let's, let's add here a vector displacement. And now let's click Ctrl T. If you don't have the node wrangler on, go activate it because it's a very good add-on and you can uh, literally just by clicking Ctrl T add a mapping and a texture coordinate node at the same time. Alright guys, so just go here in edit, click preference and in the add-ons just search for node wrangler and it will be right over here for you to just activate it and then you can do the same thing that i have done already all right guys so now let's just change some stuff let's just go here in the factory of our noise and just plug it in our vector and let's plug this to our displacement i will change here to the viewport sharing for you guys to check it out and to see how this is working right now we have our fake displacement this is not a real displacement it's just some uh, fake displacement but it will work very well for the purpose of this tutorial let's go over here to the scale let's bring this to something like six and in the detail something like five just like that let's change here our scale to something like 0 0.2 and now we have everything done for our displacement let's create just a lot of shiny dots to our snow shader because snow have a little bit of uh, shiny points in the material so for that let's add that shiny points it will be very easy we just need to go and duplicate this noise texture by clicking shift d and just change the scale to something like 500 500 it will work very well and let's just bring the detail to zero and roughness to zero all right Let's go over here and plug the vector to the vector of our mapping node and let's add two bright and contrast something like that let's duplicate it and let's go over here and plug the factor to our bright because we want to write the points of our noise texture so because of that we'll plug the factory the factor of our noise texture and not the color because if we don't know noise texture have color we don't want to change the color of our noise texture we want just to use the factor of that texture all right guys so let's go over here and just plug this easy as that and let's go over here and plug this to the clear coat right now over here in the brightness i have put this in minus 2.6 so let's use it and in here in the contrast 8 and change the contrast of this second to 10 all right 
let's change here some simple stuff in our principal bstf just go over here to our clear coat roughness and change to something like 0 0.250 the speckler it will be in one the roughness in 0 0.8 here in the subsurf we're gonna use 0 0.5 just like that all right and now we have our shader creator our snow shader it's not so realistic but it will work very well because we're gonna use an hdri just to have that kind of snow light and snow color to our scene all right guys so let's go over here to our second plane let's add this snow material let's click over here to two just to have separate uh, shaders se separate materials and let's change here our displacement to something like 0. Uh, just a little bit down like something like 0. 0.160 or 0. 0.16 it's the same thing and let's go over here to this shader over here and this uh, material we don't need material for this plane because this will will be the plane that will not uh, appear in our object or in our render so let's go over here to object and uh, just right here in visibility just turn this off and uh, you have already fixed that problem and now we have our animation already created so let's bake it bake it is super easy first thing that we need to do to bake our animation is to save it so let's go over here and save this animation i have already saved it i think it is over here let me see tutorial right over here let's save this all right and let's go and bake this animation let's go over here to our physics properties and just bring this down in cache open it up and let's bake it a little bit first of all i need to see how much uh, frames are we using and i think is something about uh, yeah 60 65 all right so let's change here the end the frame end will be in 65 all right and let's change here to 65 all right and let's bake it let's just click and bake Chana, just in simple seconds you have already a really cool baked animation but you have you already can see that we only have the animation of our plane animated and baked we need to bake the animation or we need to bake our sphere all right guys so let's go and click in our sphere let me just bring this to something like 65 and let's bake this or to, to zero select our sphere let's go to object and here in rigid body just go and bake two keyframes and this will create all the keyframes for our animation or for our sphere animation and just like that we have everything baked all right and now let's just see how this is looking i'm gonna change here to the shading panel just to see a little bit how this is working this is looking pretty good so let's go over here and let's add that hdri it's super easy to add you can uh, open the shader editor and change here object to world and just go and add an environment texture or it's more easy to do just like this you go over here to your uh, world properties and let's just click here in the color and just change this to environment texture let's open the environment texture I have here the perfect HDRI that will be here the snowy park. Let's add this one and now let's just change to our scene world and scene lights. All right. And let me just go over here and just uh, change this to cycles over here. I would, I don't want to see the HDRI. So to just uh, remove it from our render, let's just click and activate the transparent and just like that you will not have it in your render in your final render and just like that you have your animation created and a little bonus for you that is literally this material i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you liked and if you liked it don't forget to give a like subscribe the channel and i have created a patreon page that i have talked in the initial uh, part of this video but i will talk a little bit more here if you want to become a Patreon and support this channel to grow, go check it out my Patreon page where this tutorial, uh, this blend file of this tutorial will be there provided for you and uh, a lot of more Blender files of tutorials and projects. The last project that I have created and published here on YouTube, it, it is there for you guys to download it if you guys want. 
so become a patreon and support the channel and let's go and reach the 1000 subs it's almost there guys i almost can feel it all right guys so let's go and uh, i see you in the next video bye